Scotch. Scotch. Hold on, hold on. Scotch, hold on. Scotch, hold on. Tommy Lee Chambers, Superintendent of Police, Commanding Officer for the Kingston Eastern Division. Recently, we have seen an increase in crime and violence in the Kingston Eastern Division, especially in the Water Street, Dunkirk, Rockford, and the Burger community. However, we have increased our operation activities right across the division and also our social intervention program and we have partnered with our clergymen and some of our stakeholders across the division right we have stepped up our operation activities and what we have realized when we are carrying out our operation activities in some of our hotspot area we have some persons of interest who relocate to another community and i am saying to my citizen of the Kingston Eastern Division that you must not harbor these persons in your community because most of the time these are the persons who create crime and violence and criminal activities in your community. So we are reaching out to the citizen in the Rockford area this afternoon. As you can see, we are doing a walkthrough with the citizen here to reassure them that we, the police, we are here for them to ensure that the community of Rockford and right across the Kingston Eastern Division will be a place of choice for them to live, do their business and raise their family. Blessed good morning to all my viewers. Bless up once more again. We are here above the ground for another upload, another Sunday morning upload. So right now, my viewers, I want to know like the video, share the video, leave a comment down below in the comment section. So right now, my viewers, Jamaica is on a siege of violence where we see where we have to come together to help curb the stem of violence in the country because we continue we can't make it continue like this my viewers we have to come together and stand together as as one as jamaican because the violence is at its most highest ever in other country we are say we are nine female i get take out in the space of 24 hours that's jamaica's first history and we cannot repeat it the police are doing their best so we the citizens have to do our best also to prevent things like these or worse things than these we see where motorists is playing their part because we have an instant where a man was scanned up and fling from a vehicle on a stretch of the highway, the toll road, and a passerby saw what happened and take immediate response to it. 
that Pastor Baya could have easily turned his mind quickly, turn his head, turn his thoughts, everything, and just continue on the road. But what? He's a part of Jamaica also. So he did what he had to do. Quickly, he called the authorities. And the authorities swoop down, step in, and do what they have to do. So we view as we need more intervention like these. We need more law-abiding citizens in Jamaica. But with no further ado, I'm not going to talk about the wall on the morning because we have a few updates we want to give you now. And before the vlog ends, we have to give you it. So let us get into it. Nine men listed as being wanted by St. Catherine South Police. Detectives have listed nine men as being wanted in connection with several serious crimes that have been committed in the St. Catherine South Police Division. The men are urged to turn themselves in immediately to the Portmore Police. They are number one, Sheldon Wright, otherwise called Boy, 27 of Spanish Town Road, Kingston 11. He is wanted in connection with shootings in Nagohead, Portmore, St. Catherine, as well as the legal possession of a firearm. He frequents the Nagohead and Bridgeport, Portmore, as well as Spanish Town Road in Kingston 11. Two, Rudolph Shaw, otherwise called Boxer, 26 of Ponzi, Crescent, Longsville Park in Clarendon. He is wanted for abandoned in bail. 3. Mario Barnes, otherwise called Chosen, 24 of Gulf, Burger Park in St. Catherine, a troubled community. He is wanted for a slap away in that community that was committed in Gregory Park, St. Catherine. 4. Marlon Barnett, otherwise called Sharpman of Jumbo, father one of Gulf, Gregor Park in St. Catherine. So this is a man of 41 and he might take out people. Okay. And Tivoli Gardens in Kingston. He is wanted in relation to a shooting in Central Village, St. Catherine. 5. Barrington Campbell, otherwise called Cooley, 32 of Central Road in Central Village. St. Catherine is wanted in connection with a shooting in Central Village. Again, 6. Marcus Mitchell, otherwise called Poddy of Penway in Passage for Portmore, St. Catherine is wanted in connection with a slapaway that took place in the community on March 2020. 7. Manton Brown, father one, another old man of Aries Close in Portmore, St. Catherine is wanted in connection with another slap away that was committed in April of 2017. He's been on the run since then. So people, anybody know his whereabouts, please do call the police emergency. Don't let him walk free. Damian Henry, otherwise called Devil, 21 of Burke Road in Olaba, St. Catherine. He's wanted in connection with a 2013 slap away. He frequents Darliston in Westmoreland. You see where these. 87s, they are hanging out in different, different parishes. Nine, but not least, Stokel Collins, otherwise called Papa. 49, almost 50. And this man should have planting peas and corn and them thing there. Well, he must plant corn, but the wrong corn. Heights in Central Village. St. Catherine is wanted in connection with a shooting in March 2020. He frequents Bull Bay, St. Andrew. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of these men are asked to contact the Portmore Police at 876-989-8422, Crime Stop at 311 or the nearest police station. Meanwhile, citizens are being reminded that they will face prosecution if they are fugitive. We have seen it in many circumstances where persons harboring criminals and when the other cronies with them and them in the same conflict come for those criminals they who are the or ones that harboring the criminals end up get their lives knocked away so viewers continue to like share and subscribe continue to subscribe right now the channel is in a, the channel is on a road to 1k 100k subscribers by the year to end so guys if you now go click the channel, just leave a subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. 
So we can get all of the latest happening then what happening in Jamaica because right now we don't miss nothing. So everything we bring forward for you. Know. So bless upon yourself. Take care. Have a wonderful sunset.